Ayan. This is the face behind the Die Crusher page. Charot. <laughs> um, it's it's been a while. I think my last video was I was still in Binian Laguna at my boarding house. So today, right now, I'm already here in Austria. As what you've seen in my in all of my reels. Um, I actually never thought that there would be a lot of um, student, I mean, incoming students, Filipinas out there that would be interested to the processes that I've been through. So I apologize if I took a long time for me to upload this video. It's just that um, I have a roommate and I don't want to to make some video with her around because of course the language barrier she might feel she might she might don't want to hear me talking in Filipino or in I mean yeah I will talk in English but I just don't want her to see me doing like this <laughs> um she I actually have time now because she went out and she actually have a lot of money because I mean anyway so I'm just a poor here so I'll just stay here in my dorm and shoot some video so um, let's to the questions that I received in my messenger I'll answer all of those today so let's get started so there are actually 27 originally but Croatia was added recently so there are already 28 countries uh, in the Europe in European Union so um, why did I choose Austria um, but before anything else um, before I came to this um, study abroad in Europe I really tried to research information about studying abroad in New Zealand, Australia, Canada, US. But unfortunately, um, there was an agent for those countries that I've mentioned. I mean, the agents are everywhere <laughs> for that four countries. So I tried to inquire. And honestly, the fees are were very too, were so high. And I know in myself that I, I will never afford that fees. So... Um, I tried to look for alternatives, for other opportunities, how to study abroad, and that's where I found Austria. And I really don't know, it's just that when I was still researching, um, my hands or my internet guided me to this country because uh, most of the information that popped out when I was still researching in the internet, um, it it's all about Austria, so I, I just read more about Austria and I thought that, oh, why not? I, I, it's Europe, so why not give it a try? So that's where I start to research more in Austria and and that's it. I'm here now. <laughs> so um, before, anything, uh, before anything else about the application process, I will share you what i did first first of all of course i applied <laughs> to the university so i will guide you through to the um i think it's the official website of the public universities here in austria and mind you you yes of course europe is expensive it's euros darling it's euros i think one euro is around 57 to 60 pesos it's expensive here but if you choose to study in a public university, the tuition is cheap. Like, and my degree, I'm taking a master's degree and my tuition is only, I mean, not only, but compared to other, I mean, you are studying abroad. So, uh, my tuition fee is, is uh, around, depends upon the currency, but I'm paying 747 euros. It's around 45,000 pesos for one semester yes and when you think about it 
that amount is already a i mean to some private universities in the philippines it's already a tuition fee for the college student right and here in europe it's already a master's degree course yes master's degree tuition so you think about it oh it's cheap actually here but i know all the living expenses the medical insurance and everything the cost of living here i mean it really depends upon you if if you have an extravagant lifestyle then of course your cost of living would be high but if you're like me who knows how to budget a lot then you can really survive here but of course if you're self-supporting you need to find a job and stuff like that but anyway before those things i will guide you to those um interested there there were a couple of student i mean inter interested people who messaged me in my messenger and i apologize if it took really it took me a while to make this video so this video is all for you first what you need to do is you should type study in austria.at and search then at the upper right side there is this three horizontal lines click in that and then oh, wait english then click the hour down then choose higher education system and in there you will see this 22 universities um click on this these are the public universities in austria so, open each of these links and look for the universities who would who you, would you like to enroll. Um, of course, you need to consider your background. If you're taking your ma if you want to take your masters, you need to consider your bachelors. Your bachelors must be related to your masters if you want to get a an admission right away so for example you will click this university of vienna and then here you will this link um the contact then this is the official website of the university of wayne wayne is vienna then yeah just explore this page and look the email of their international coordinator and you need to reach out and ask about the admission process for international students but mostly the requirements are almost the same with each universities so that's where you are going to start with your application i hope i somewhat helped those interested there so that's it that's where you're going to start with your application um each each universities their application deadlines and application process sometimes varies so you really need to read and read of all the website i mean the website of the university that you prefer so for reference i'm studying in the university of Graz. i mean uh, we, we filipinas really call it um university of Graz, but people here read it as uni Graz, universitet of Graz, with the third ski well anyway <laughs> yeah i'm studying here at the university of Graz, and um if you're interested also to my university you can check if the course that you want to enroll for your study is available and offered in their website because i think some of the courses are already open for the winter semester so you should check on that and then um yeah i can share the link of the it's this only for unigrads i can share the link of the international coordinator of the university of Graz.
here's the link i will put in there but of course you still need to read the website of the university of Graz because um i think some some procedures um change from the last time that i applied because i've heard that um they they accept applications now via online because when, during my time last year i they don't accept applications online they really want to see the papers hard copy they really want to have it before they consider you for your um admission to the course that you chose so yeah i will i will also help um i will try to I will also try to read more about the application procedures for my university and I also try to read about the application procedures for other universities so I can help those um, aspirants out there. And for the, <coughs> um, sorry, if you are interested for really studying abroad, First of all, that I advise you so that it won't take much of your time. Uh, for the, I don't know with other countries, but it's really what I did there in the Philippines um, as early as now. Um, the police request for the CAV. CAV stands for Certification, Certification, Authentication, and Verification. You can request it to your university registrar. You actually need it for the apostle of your documents at the DFA because um, one of the main requirements for the applications here in Austria, of all the universities here in Austria, they want to see your school documents being legalized at the Austrian embassy. So before you legalize, you need to apostle. And one of the requirements for the apostle of the school documents is your CAV certification authentication verification it must be um, sealed in an envelope but if possible try to ask your try to ask beforehand a scan copy or a photocopy of the documents because you need that you need a copy for that because in the DFA they will um pin it and it's really hard to photocopy if it if it's already a possible so that's why I advise what I advise you to do and then you know that's um I think that's the the documents that you need to um prepare ahead of time the CAV because um based on what I actually <clears throat> sorry based on what I exper I mean yeah based on what I experienced it took around one month for me to get that to get that document so you really need to to get the document and then you also need to um have your tor the for evaluation process i mean the remarks uh, at the bottom corner of your t transcript of records there must be a for evaluation process because it's the TOR for the master for the continuation of your study program and you also need your diploma yeah diploma and what's this um the actually here in Austria you have two choices to to apply for the language certificate you can either submit an IELTS or a uh, Certificate coming from your university that the medium of instruction during your study program or during your bachelor's was English. So in my case, of course, IELTS is expensive. Um, right now I think it costs about thirteen thousand pesos. But I mean, if you already have a IELTS, then of course you can submit it. Um, I think they require at least 6.5 score or TOEFL around, I think around 95 and above. And for the, uh, what I submitted was this um, certificate coming from my university because it's free. And I mean, it's not free, but you only need to spend, it's, it's very much cheaper compared to IELTS. Um, the certificate for the medium of instruction 
was I think I got it for eighty pesos at my uni previous university in my bachelor's. So yeah, we all do try as IELTS or a certificate coming from your university registrar that the language used during your bachelor's your study program was English. You can submit the higher of those documents. So um we're done with the diploma, language certificate, C A B. Um I think that's all that you uh, of course your passport. You need to prepare your passport because of course you're going abroad. So if you if you're in the process of renewing your passport, please have that before you apply because DFA right now take like really a long time to process passport, right? So have your passport. Um it must have at least one year before expiration. And I think that's all that you need to prepare before applying. And the rest, um I will guide you um the rest of the process. But for now it's the it's the first step that you need to prepare. Your diploma, passport, C A V is it um language certificate. Because um, these are the documents that the Austrian universities mostly want to see before for other documents. So that's it for now. Let's see. Um, let's see you again to my next video. Bye.